<laughs> hey, here we are. Hello there. At the last stop for this particular leg of our Boston trip, 2011. Um, we are at the Vanderbilt home uh, known as Hyde Park in Hyde Park. We've got a lot of hard Hyde Parks. <laughs> Apparently, Roosevelt's Hyde Park is not actually officially called Hyde Park. It's Springvale or Springwood. Yeah, Springwood. They That was the first an original name for it. And then once it got burned to the ground by that great fire that we were talking about earlier, yeah. then they renamed it Hyde Park. Just after, the, after the town. But this is another Hyde Park owned by Frederick Vanderbilt, constructed... Um, I, you know, I don't know Sometime when it was in the early 1900s. We know that it was open to the public in the 1938, was it? No, 39. It was open to the public for the first time in 1940. Uh, Roosevelt, who lived just next door, realized it was on, actually, very similar to some of Eric's listings, who I work for, <laughs> it's been on the market for two years for like 100,000 bucks, and no one bought. It was ridiculous. And yeah. so she donated, with Roosevelt's help, to the federal government for $1. We are talking, of course, about the niece of the builder. Oh, of this yes. Building. Frederick Vanderbilt left it to his niece. She already had some great places, didn't need this one. It's kind of quaint and outdated. So uh, she donated it yes, for she, history. She actually sold it to the federal government for $1. And we were offering to double the government's money and buy it for $2. If they're interested in selling it, we will. But, you know, double. they didn't go for that. Anyway, um,. The in master bedroom, ladies, Mrs. Vanderbilt's bedroom suite was de decorated by Octon Cogman Jr., who wrote literally uh, the book The Decoration of Houses. He wrote mm -hmm. the book on decorations, French style, incredible. Um, his is this really dark, rich red and deep woods, really nice. 22 fireplaces. Beautifully decorated inside, just, it's very expansive. You can not really tell from the video that you're seeing right now, but compared to us, it's a massive building. Yeah. With just, I think they said there were 19 bedrooms on the third floor. Right. So there are three levels and then a half level up top where the servants stayed, and there's a basement and a sub basement. One thing to note male servants in the basement, female servants at the top on the third floor. Very top. There were 11 bedrooms for the servants. They only needed five to run the house, but when they would have guests over, all of their guests were invited to bring a servant as well, so they occupied all 11 rooms. But one fun factoid is that there were 73 steps between the male single servants and the female single servants, mm. which, you know, prevented any hanky-panky from going on, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, anyway... And just, I think you do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if not, <laughs> check out his other blog. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> steel, I-beam construction and concrete, very important. It's not just some sort of block it's steel I-beams, very the, strong, built like a fortress. The best that money could buy in the day. Yeah. They ended up, how much did they spend on this Yeah. Project? To one, build the actual house, 2. it was $660,000. Then they finished it off with furniture, which cost $1.5 million. So in furniture. total, to build and furnish the house with all of the major appliances and everything, they had electricity, they had running hot and cold water, just the luxury of the day, so yeah. it cost two and a two and a quarter million dollars. At the time, a very cutting edge building that was called Uncle Freddy's Cottage on the Hudson. Right Relatively, a cottage. it was the smallest of all of the brothers. He was left with a smaller inheritance, and so he used his money to invest, and he built a modest home. Of course, he had a couple other summer homes, I believe. He w inherited the least amount of money, only 10 million, and actually died the wealthiest with 78 million. Yes, he did. Fun fact about Frederick Vanderbilt, uh, I'm sure we'll be bringing you more Vanderbilt homes in the future. We hope so. Um, now we're on to bigger, better, exciting things. Um, but <laughs> thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Road Trip Report. Goodbye.